Hello, welcome. This show is where we explore all things related to real estate and interior design in sunny California. I'm your host, Sherry Douglas Brock, and I'm your friendly realtor and interior designer here in San Juan Capistrano. It's where I live, uh, Orange County, California. Uh, today we have a special hot topic, I think, and that is whether you should rent or buy your home in Orange County, California. That's a question that a lot of people grapple with for themselves or for their children. They, a lot of their children are renting and, you know, should I buy, should I rent? And so today we have a case study with Danielle. She's a single mother and teacher and she lives in Orange County, California. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sherry Douglas, and welcome to the Faith Led Interior Design Show. To uh, start each week, we have a Be Blessed verse. And this week's Be Blessed verse is the Proverbs 31 woman, also referred to as the virtuous woman. She's a biblical figure celebrated for her wisdom, strength, and virtuous character. She's described in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament, and she's portrayed as a woman of noble character who embodies qualities such as um, industriousness, integrity, kindness. She goes out and buys a field. You can look up Proverbs 31 yourself. It's kind of a long, a long um, uh, chapter, but uh, look it up and see about this woman. I just thought it's appropriate for this time with Danielle. So this Proverb 21 woman is she's able to manage her household, care for her family, and she is dedicated to her work. This iconic figure in biblical literature has served as an inspiration for countless women throughout history, encouraged them to, encouraging them to strive for excellence in various aspects of life. So I love that because um, I love when the Bible's talking about these um, strong, um, fabulous women. So today we're going to talk to Danielle, and I'd just like to give her a warm welcome, and I'll give you a brief introduction about her. Come on in, Danielle. I'll, I'll, yeah. Hi, Danielle. Hi. <laughs> okay, so... Danielle, when she uh, first started, was in her young 30s. She she kind of was on an, a limited budget. Uh, you know, she absolutely was on a budget. And uh, we had to get her pre-qualified, which, which all buyers, I really don't go out with buyers unless they're pre-qualified because we don't want to show you things that you can't afford. And so that happened with Danielle. She was just on such a budget that we, you know, want to find out exactly what can she afford, what not. And um, if we can squeak into this market on her incomes. So I just want to welcome you, Danielle. And, um, the, you know, the, the subject is about whether we should buy or rent. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you can just kind of introduce us to... Um, you know, what it was like for you, the first part of this, this uh, transaction. Yeah. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, I, I think one of the biggest things for me, life changing in 2020, a lot of our lives didn't look completely the same at that time. And for me, it was a big transition out of a home that I previously owned and into a rental unit. And that unit was pretty expensive. It was really one of those things that doing it on my own was, it was stretching a bit, but I was able to do that. And since then, I just, with working with Sherry, she really encouraged me to be in a place where I'm paying myself as opposed to paying someone else's mortgage. And that really motivated me to try to find a, a place that, was going to be essentially the same as my rent, which is what Sherry mentioned could happen. And I thought, wow, I don't know if that is possible. But with her help, I really noticed that 
these are actually properties that I could get into and pay the same, if not even a little less than what I was paying in my rent. So that was kind of the start of the process. Yeah. And that was uh, 21, uh, 20. Oh, yeah. I, I, in 2020 is when I moved into the rental. And then in 2021 was when I purchased. So you were in the rental just for one year then? Yeah. And your lease was coming up. So we just started talking. It's like, well, hey, let's look. I mean, what do we have to lose? You know, I mean, let's see if we can find something for you. Um, Because your, your lease was enough where it just, you know, uh, it, it was, it's where we could, you know, look at that at least. So uh, we got you pre-qualified. We knew what price range you were in. So we just said, you know, let's, let's just walk toward it. Let's see what we find and see if doors off open. And, and um, so what happened next? <laughs> um, yeah, we, we looked at several places together and those places were pretty small and a lot of them very, it seemed, you know, very, um, very crammed and it's just my daughter and I, so I wasn't looking for anything crazy huge, but it just, a lot of things didn't really appeal to me a ton with what was in within my budget. But then finally in Lake forest, we stepped into a condo that, just had this beautiful skylight and still a little outdated, but something that I felt just had that light and seemed more open and spacious. And um, in the past couple of years with your design help, I've really been able to make it something that I love and is a home for me and my daughter. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and bell so you are notified next time a new video is uploaded. Yeah, I yeah. think um, we had looked at some that were, you know, almost depressing because the 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 um, rate the price that we had to stay in was was challenging. But you know, when we saw this place. Well, you know, both of us were just like, wow, this, this really has some potential. It wasn't, it wasn't there yet, but it definitely had potential. And uh, so that was exciting. We, we just said, you know, this is it. So, so what happened is you put a offer. And so it was interesting because there were a lot of buyers on the market at that time. Also, same now, it's still a seller's market. And uh, it was prior to the weekend, we put the offer, it was a full price offer, Mm -hmm. and they accepted it right away. They didn't even, you know, really continue the, they just show it. it. Yeah, Yeah, to show it. Yeah. So I was so worried that they would because I was afraid that people would come in with higher offers. And, you know, because that's not uncommon in this kind of market. And yeah. they, so I think, um, you know, there was a little bit of a but God situation. On that. He, yeah, you know, I remember more- after they accepted the offer, I went and I was like, just kind of walking around and looking at the garage. And there were these other people that were coming by too. And they're like, oh, you already got your offer accepted. And there were so many people, a couple yeah of couples that were like bummed that it was taken. And I was like, Oh, so excited that, that, that they accepted it. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, I am pretty sure had that gone on for the weekend that. that Yeah. It might've been. You you (laughs) wouldn't have been able to get it. So that was so exciting for both of us. And um, so that was neat. And talk about the payment in a little, you know, so the payment, how was it less, more? I can't, I can't remember exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. Do you want me to say specific numbers or just, no, no, no. no. Okay. I, um, just kind yeah, of, yeah. I, I was in um, my condo and I think this is maybe $73 a month more. And also if I were still in that place, rent has gone up in the last three years. So I know that 
I wouldn't be able to be at that price I was paying in 2020 either. So right now, if I was still in that renting situation, I would probably be paying, I would think at least 400 more per month. And wow. I was able to stay where yeah. I was by buying this place. Right. And then we've watched houses sell around you right. in this last couple of years. And so, and again, without saying figures, but you have a lot of equity for right. owning the place for just two years. Mm -hmm. And so consequently, we're kind of just saying, well, what about another place? Mm -hmm. You know, what, yeah. so, uh, because your your rental, if you rent the place that you're in, will be an income rental. You'll get more rent than you're paying on your mortgage. So then that difference can go toward your new mortgage on a place. So again, we need to get pre-qualified and we're kind of working on that right now. Right. And, and then see where you stand now with all this equity in this place, plus, um, you know, rental income coming from this place. And, uh, you know, I know you'd like to get a little bit bigger place for you and your daughter, but what a great start. And what a, a wonderful story, I think, of, you know, yeah. how that worked out for you. And it can work out for other people the same way, too. Also, I think I just want to say, um, you know, talk about the design part, because I think that's a part of where the value, if you want to even sell your place right now, we could design it, you know, really great. And then, um, you know, get top dollar. And I, and I think that's what I, I uh, uh, want to let people know is that, that, you know, some people say staging or not, but, but, but yes, staging will get you more money and top yeah. dog and your place is cute I know you did that wall behind you that's kind of a, a, a grid on the wall and little things that are so that you know again you're you're on a, a budget and you've done beautiful things in there so yeah. and if you want to see uh, Danielle's place it's going to be on the uh, podcast section of my um of my website at dcdouglasinteriors.com. So uh, there will be pictures of her place on there. So a lot of good things have happened from this purchase, Danielle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what was it hard for you? You know, how did the transaction go for you? Because you weren't used to doing that. Yeah, it was a little scary, but... I think um, with your help, you really intervened with the lender and you made it so that it was really an, an easy process. And even there were like little hiccups about like, oh, well, this a thousand dollars here and two thousand here. And I was just wondering what what does this mean? Why am I paying this part? And you were yeah. able to explain that to me really easily. And so it just felt like peaceful throughout, even though it was a difficult decision and kind of a scary decision. So yeah, you yeah. really helped me with reminding me that this is good to walk towards and a blessing and it really has turned out to be. So that's been amazing. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. So my goal is to give people a, a, a lot of special service and um, great beneficial ideas and tips and um, you know, professionalism and great mm -hmm. results. Um, and so that you can sit back and relax and enjoy the process. I know, yeah. like you said, it can get scary, especially, you know, you're young. And so the, I was really proud of you for, um, you know, how you handled everything. So do you have anything else you want to add? Um, as well, we you had mentioned about the design piece. And I think that that was something that, has made it feel more of a home. So it could have just been kind of a situation where it, it was very outdated when I moved in and very like from the eighties. And so with your help, you kind of helped me with navigating what things really do need to be changed as opposed to what are things that, you know, I could live with, for example, the kitchen, what isn't my dream kitchen, but 
you kind of guided me to like, well, take out the, this box lighting and that'll open up the space and put in this ceiling fan here, take out this track lighting and things that I wouldn't have known on my own. And yeah. then, you know, helping me with the grid wall like you did and um, all of that. That was just such a simple change, but really adds a huge dimension to my um, yeah. kitchen area. And then, um, you know, fitting in all my furniture the way that it should, because the way that it was laid out when I looked at the place was completely different. And um, so that that helped with making it a place where you walk in. And previously you were walking into the back of, of the couch and it, right. the way that you right. helped me set it up made it more open and yeah. feel bigger than it actually is. Yeah. And I think it really gave you a beautiful focal point wall, which again, you can see on, on at dcdouglasinteriors.com and then a really pretty view of the dining room. And so it just opened it. It makes it feel more like an open plan. Thanks for mentioning that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, it's so wonderful talking to you. And so I, it sounds like you're a pro go for it. Don't rent. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a, it's been such a, a great feeling to be a homeowner and have a place that's my own. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just love to see that where your um, money is going to you buying your place. And then even if you rent it, somebody else is paying for you buying your place. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a good thing if you can, um, you know, qualify and, you know, make that work out. So, well, I appreciate you taking the time and it's been wonderful talking to you and I will see you soon. Okay. Thanks, Sherry. Uh -huh, thanks. Bye. Bye. So if you're thinking about selling your home or if you're um, thinking about helping your, your child or even yourself, you know, not renting, to, but to buy, you know, give me a call. It's uh, Sherry Douglas Brock. And my uh, website is DC Douglas Interiors. And I'm with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate uh, Champions. So I can help you that way. I have a um, real, real estate and interior design. And I'm going to be uh, launching that soon in the beginning of the year. And so we'll, we, I'll be talking more and more about that, that, that we're, it's both. Uh, the company entails both. So, um, and then the thing that we want, I want to help with is, you know, what, what is the way to get top dollar? So um, we can talk about that. And I have a value report for your home. And so it's like a 30 question uh, report that I can come and value your home. Is it sell ready? Or uh, if you're wanting to uh, buy instead of rent, we can talk about that too. There's a, a uh, discovery call on at um, dcdouglasinteriors.com that you can do and we can we can talk um, about you know having your money go toward your property instead of somebody else's. Again, the Proverbs 31 woman, I just want to leave with that. I don't, you know, don't you think Danielle's that kind of gal? She's industrious and she's, she's, um, you know, buying her own land and, and home, home for her and her daughter. And um, just really, really proud of her. So, and she is a woman of noble character and she's, she's a very hard worker. She's a great teacher. And, um, she cares for her family and she has a deep reverence for God. So the Proverbs 31 woman fits Danielle greatly, I think. And again, if you want to, to uh, talk to me, go to dcdouglasinteriors.com and um, there is a um, discovery call at the bottom of each page on that website. Just want to say, stop dreaming, start designing your luxury home and within your budget. So blessings to you and see you next episode. 
If you're struggling to design or improve the interior of your home that mirrors your amazing self and within your budget, make sure to reach out. Email me at sherry at dcdouglasinteriors.com. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Blessings until next time.